Who is the guy there now in Chi-Town? It is Matt Eberflus, the former Colts defensive coordinator who really <clears throat> impressed in Chicago during his interview. I'm told the deal is now done. He is being hired. Matt Eberflus goes from Colts defensive coordinator to the new man in Chicago. And, you know, this was a search run by Bill Polian, of course, has strong ties to the Colts. And one of the main reasons Eberflus got put in front of the owners and then all he did was really impress. Sounds like his initial interview went extremely well. Brought back for a second interview. That was yesterday. Uh, so he was brought back with Dan Quinn and Jim Caldwell. In the end, they go with Eberflus as their new head coach. Obviously needs to have a plan uh, for the offense. Paramount considering uh, Justin Fields is there and, and getting him off the ground and running is obviously a huge priority. But one great way to do that is to play really good defense and to run the heck out of the ball. His former team, Ibravush's former team, did that, and now he hopes he will take that to Chicago. Ian, how influential was new general manager Ryan Poles in this process? Yeah, he was influential. He he won the uh, general manager battle a couple, uh, a couple days ago, whenever that was. Seems like nine weeks ago. Uh, and then what he did was sit with all of the finalists and make a decision himself. And of course, Matt Eberflus uh, and Ryan Poles have known each other. They share an agent. Uh, the familiarity is there, but, but it really did seem like from the beginning, even before Poles got hired, uh, that Eberflus really stood out. Um, he was a guy that, you know, his passion, his presentation, the professionalism, how dynamic he was. The Bears really liked him from the beginning. And I know there was a lot of love for Dan Quinn as well. Um, but Ibrafus was a guy that I think really stood out. And, and, you know, interviews are important, but watch the guy's defense play on the field on Sunday, important as well.